do this. It's a kind of a wizard school. I travel around the world teaching magic to different magicians of all ages. To the bottom. And then I hand it out. And we have students from all over the world that study magic. Most people are professional people or hobbyists or magic enthusiasts. And we teach them how to enchant people and how to make connections with people and how to bring wonder to the world. And spin the ring. Thank you. Harry Potter is a phenomenon. It turned the world back on to magic, mythological magic. It reawakened, I think, a very primal, very ancient connection for people to make magic. My job as a magician is to remind people that they're the magicians in their lives with the power to transform themselves. And Harry Potter and that whole world that uh, Rowling created reminds people that anything is possible and that anything we dream, we can achieve. Our job is not just to show off with flamboyant skills. Our job is to get party guests talking to each other. Many of our students use their magic in business meetings, in talks, in uh, motivational programs. Many of our teachers are doctors and lawyers that use a little bit of magic to spice up their, their technical talks when they're talking at conventions or trade shows. I've been performing magic since I'm 10 years old. Started performing at children's birthday parties. I'm now a corporate entertainer and a motivational speaker who incorporates the magic within my speaking presentations. Her purpose for magic is to get the client's message incorporated into an entertaining package that instructs, educates, and informs, and hopefully enlightens the audience as well. Magic. Boom. There it is. Uh, creating wonder, a sense of wonder in their mind, and uh, transforming their lives by inspiring them to feel like there's magic in their own lives. Just like that. <laughs> I'm the magic lawyer. I'm a magician and a trial lawyer. In the middle, infinite possibility. Magic is a performance art, and so is trial law. So I gain a lot of experience from people like Jeff McBride in the magic world to apply to my legal training as well. Rob says he uses magic in the courtroom to take the judge or the jury's mind off of what they should be looking at and having them look at other options. One of the biggest real world examples is misdirection. Using magic as a tool to focus their attention on the area that he wants them to focus on. My job as a magician is to surprise people, to wake them up and remind them that there is magic around them and within them.